stopping up the vending machine and it's the first time we've got in these bear bells. Salty peanut, protein bars, 20 grams of protein. We've been stocking the grenade bars up until now, so we're gonna give this one a bash. I'm gonna give you a little, little review. Looks good. A little bit chewier than the grenade one. That's really nice. I like it. I like the grenade one. Very, very similar actually. I'd say this one's a little bit meatier. Calories, we're talking 209. 20 grams of protein, 14 grams of carbohydrates and 3.7, like four grams of fat. I think it's quite similar to be perfectly honest with you. So just comes down to preference, I like it. Bit of a change, a bit more eating than that one probably. Monday class done was, was definitely a lot harder than uh, I was expecting but I don't know if you can see our little slogan behind us there whatever your 100% looks like give it and that's kind of how I go about doing the, the classes to be honest with you I just give it whatever I've got in the tank on that day and I take a sort of rough guide a rough estimate on the, the reps that I do on each exercise um, and just sort of jot them down on a bit of paper and try and maintain or, or improve on that next next week, next session, when I do that session again. And just look for little progressions here and there. Some weeks, maybe not feeling 100%, I'll just back off and, and just do, like I said there, just give whatever I can give. And anything's better than, better than nothing. But it's good to know that I'm not just trying to progress my uh, gym strength-based sessions, I'm actually trying to make little progressions in the, sorry, I'm still at a puff, in the circuit classes as well. Uh, and I'll just explain it a little bit on a, on a whiteboard. But that was a good class, lots of nice people, lots of people working hard, good atmosphere, good energy, and one in the bag. So guys, here is an example of how I track my progress and my performance within a class setting. As you can see, I've recorded the reps that I achieved for each round of the four exercises on the whiteboard. My goal week to week is to try to improve on these numbers. Ideally, I want to be hitting between 10 to 15 repetitions per exercise per set. If I'm achieving under 10 reps, I would consider the weight or the exercise that I've chosen to be too heavy or too advanced and therefore I would reduce the weight or take an easier option. If I get more than 15 reps, it's an indication that I probably need to increase the weight or make the exercise more challenging. So this is a guide that I use. Then each week I will try to maintain or improve the targets that I have achieved in the previous week. Some weeks I will take a deload week in that I'll still complete the session, but I will just work at a slightly lower intensity. Mikey, what are you up to? Just uh, breaking that part, part two, mate. Come on, show us. Here we've got some um, Naughty Boy, sick pump, because I'm a Naughty Boy. This Terry on the keyboard. Why have you got two? So one's, uh, one's for the pumps. All right, and another one's for the caffeine. Yeah, this is the pump. It's sick. Sick pump. And this one's the menace, because Chris is a menace. What, are you mixing the two together? Mix two together. Yeah, spoon. Mix up. Is this two spoons. And what are you training today? I'm training legs today for once in my life. Got cuff the ductures first. <laughs> Can't wait Talk to us go. through your workout. Uh, cuff the ductors, leg extensions, prone hams, back squat, leg press. 
Jason. Gee, where's that's an awful lot. It's not, it's not a lot for me. So here is my attempt at 130 kilograms on the back squat. I've already completed two sets of six at this weight and I'm away to try and attempt a set of nine, which would be one more than the previous week. Quite a tough challenge getting nine reps at this weight for myself. So I spent a few seconds there just psyching myself up and making sure that when I unracked the bar, I didn't make any mistakes and I didn't lose any energy taking those steps back into position. First few reps are normally comfortable, but after about the fifth to sixth rep, it, sh it starts to get challenging. So big push on the last couple of reps, but yeah, happy with that. Nine reps, one more than last week. <laughs> Guys, it's Wednesday morning and I'm out having a little walk. Just dropped Callum off at school and I was just thinking to myself, I don't think I have made an effort to go for a scheduled walk like this for, for ages, for ages and ages. And it just made me think that um, if you want to achieve something, if you want to get change, if you want to be different, if you want to lose weight, you want to get fitter, you want to get healthier, you want to feel better mentally, you've got to start doing things that you're not currently doing. You can't just go about doing the same old things. You have to make a change. You have to do something that you're not already doing. Okay. And for me, this, this is as basic as making an effort to drop calm off at school and continue to walk, get moving, get my steps up. I know it's going to help me to lose weight. I know it's going to help me to look leaner. I know it's going to help me to feel more productive. I know it's going to help me to make me feel better mentally. But I just haven't done it in, uh, before now. Instead, I've just went home, poured myself a coffee, opened up the laptop, done some work, but probably wasted a fair bit of time as well scrolling through crap. So um, I know I'm relating to a lot of people here because we're all quite lazy and uh, you know just just that's all right just admit that you're lazy admit that you're not making an effort admit that you do want to change you do want to achieve something but you just haven't bothered your arse to do what it takes to do it you want to make a change do something different Guys, I've had a trim, a little shave. I'm feeling a little bit fresher and uh, I'm still as grey as I was, if not greyer. But uh, can I be a little trim to make you feel your best? Big shout out to Michael from Chop in Aberdeen. Fantastic barber. If you're interested in getting a new barber, give him a shout. Good chat. Very good with the scissors, and uh, as you can see, done a good job.
So guys, let's go over my nutritional approach to week three. And as I do, I will show you a few of the meals that I've consumed over the first two weeks. Week one, my main focus was building better habits and setting some non-negotiables, such as including more fruit and vegetables in my diet, making sure I got protein with every main meal, reducing the amount of crap that I was eating, reducing alcohol intake, increasing my water intake, staying hydrated, and coupling this with some lifestyle goals such as trying to get more sleep and get, get outside walking more. Week two, I built on this, but also focused on staying organized. So planning meals in advance, setting a little menu for evening meals, prepping food a little bit more than the previous week, but really still focused on hitting those non-negotiables. I've tried to include a variety of different foods without being too restrictive. I've tried to maintain a good balance while still eating a lot of the foods that I enjoy, which I think is important, especially if you want to progress long term. This coming week, I'm going to start tracking my calorie intake using my fitness pal. I'm not going to set myself any targets. Before I do this, I think it's important to have a good understanding of roughly where you are currently at with your calorie intake. So my starting point will be to choose three to four days out of the week and track all food and liquids from morning till night to get a good picture of what my daily calorie intake is for those days. I think this is an important measure to take and a logical step in my dieting process. I want to find out where I am at calorie wise and if I am under consuming by too much. I also want to see if my protein intake is on a par with what would be recommended for a man of my weight trying to lose body fat. Once I have this information, I will compare it with what is recommended for a man of my weight and activity level and then set some realistic targets for me to try and achieve day to day for calories and for protein. This will help me stay in a calorie deficit more accurately without hopefully under consuming. This will also help me keep my energy levels as high as possible, my performance levels in my training as high as possible and the overall enjoyment of the dieting process. Hopefully you can see from these pictures that I enjoy my food. Flavour for me is number one priority when it comes to eating. If you're going to be consistent and sustain your diet long term, you have to make it enjoyable and you have to include foods that you enjoy eating. So do not be over restrictive, try and find a balance and I promise you, you will succeed far quicker and staying for far longer. Guys, it's six o'clock. It's not even six o'clock, actually. I think it's 10 to six. And I'm out walking. I'm walking to work. So I did it yesterday. Yesterday was relatively easy because I was starting work later in the day. It was a lot harder today to get up a bit earlier to make the effort to walk down. But I uh, feel really good. I feel a sense of achievement doing it. And it's really nice being out at this time. It's so peaceful, quiet. Obviously it's cold, but no colder than it is any other time so good start to the day start the day with a positive like i said in episode two this is my positive today let's see what friday has in store for us
for breakfast today, Callum? Bacon and egg roll. Does Daddy like bacon and egg rolls? Yes. I do. I like bacon and egg rolls, don't I? They're in that stomach. They're in so, this yes. stomach down here? Yes. Saturday mornings is bacon and egg roll morning at mm -hmm. our house, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yummy. How yummy is a bacon and egg roll? Mm. Uh huh. Yeah, why your tongue like that? <laughs> <laughs> right, who's going to be the best at gymnastics today? Me. Really? Yes. Who's going to work the hardest? Me. Who's going to listen the best? Me. Really? Mm-hmm. A few people are asking me, uh, how are you so motivated? And to be honest with you guys, right at the start, I'm just the same as anyone else. My motivation to do all the things I'm currently doing, like walking more, focusing a little bit more specifically on my training, making more of an effort with my diet, getting to bed earlier, getting up earlier to maybe walk to work. I wasn't motivated to do these things right at the very start. My initial motivation came from, from committing to this vlog, turning 40, setting my goals. That's where my motivation came at the start. My motivation now is building because of the results that I'm getting. And I'm not just talking about any sort of physical change because it's only been two weeks. I'm focusing on how it's, I'm feeling mentally. I feel more motivated now because I got the ball rolling, I got started. I feel more energized, I feel more productive. I'm, I feel like more fulfillment about what I'm doing. Because I'm more productive, I'm getting more things done. It's making me feel better. It's making me feel more worthwhile. So, how am I motivated? I'm, I'm motivated because I set myself a goal and I made myself accountable to something. That got the ball rolling. Once the ball's rolling, the motivation just comes, it's there. I increase the motivation as, as I'm going because of the actions that I'm taking and the results that are coming. So yeah, I understand you're not motivated just now, but you haven't got the ball rolling yet. Once you do and follow my steps on week one and episode one, your motivation will come and it'll get bigger and bigger. When you do things like sitting down on the sofa, being lazy, not moving about, it demotivates you, it doesn't give you that motivated feeling and you feel a lack of motivation. But when you get up and you actually do something, even something super small, your motivation increases because of that. So if you're that person that's demotivated right now, stop watching this, hit like and subscribe, stop watching this, get outside, go for a walk, do a workout, do some exercises, and then I bet you feel more motivated. And you'll do something the following day and that motivation will increase and it'll build and the ball will keep rolling. It's like a snowball. It's really small at the beginning. Once you start rolling it, it picks up, it picks up, it gets bigger, it gets bigger. Your snowball at the moment is really, really small. But if you keep pushing it, you keep moving it, it's going to get bigger, it's going to get stronger and eventually it's going to be a big massive snowman. <laughs>